Hi, it's Martin from the Excalibur Hardware and Enabling Software program here. In this talk today, I'm going to introduce Excalibur, explain what the Hardware and Enabling Software program is, and also how you can get involved. Excalibur is short for Exascale Computing Algorithms and Infrastructures Benefiting UK Research. It's a nearly £46 million strategic priorities fund initiative led by UK Research and Innovation, the Met Office and the UK Atomic Energy Authority. It's a five-year programme to get the UK's scientific computing codes and algorithms up to speed for the next generation of exascale computing architectures. And you can find out more from the Met Office website. Excalibur Hardware and Enabling Software is around 10% of the overall Excalibur budget. And it's a programme which is set up to create a series of test beds, which will give researchers the opportunity to try out experimental and novel hardware and software. We think that the hardware and enabling software projects on the whole will take a co-design approach so they'll work closely not just with Excalibur software projects and the wider research community, also with industry partners. And it's important to note these test beds will include staff effort, research software engineering and research operations to help make sure that researchers can get the best use and the best value out of the test beds. And a core activity for us is to support the community in evolving its benchmarking approach to exascale systems. The Excalibur Hardware and Enabling Software Program has a governance structure reporting in to the overall Excalibur Steering Committee. You'll see hardware and enabling software below the dotted line in this diagram. We have three key groups, the Delivery Board, which oversees the programme as a whole, the Technical Working Group, which monitors and tracks progress on projects that h and supports, and the Technology Providers Panel, which connects us with industry partners who are working with us on co-design and test beds. We've gathered together here the logos of some of the companies that we're working with on the Technology Providers Panel. If you're a company that's working in this space, we'd love to hear from you. We'd like to make this as inclusive a community as we can. So what is a test bed? I've got some examples here from the first wave of test beds that HNES has supported. You can see UCL's adaptable cluster, Exascale Solutions for Storage and RAM as Services from Durham, File Systems for Exascale from Cambridge, Novel Accelerators from Bristol, Improving Application Performance Using ARM Processors and Attached Accelerators from Leicester, and Testing and Improving APIs for a range of processor unit and accelerator systems. From Edinburgh. In these tables you can see the industry partners that our institutions are working with to deliver these projects. And here's an example of a testbed that's already up and running that people have begun to use. So the AMD GPU testbed at Durham augments Durham's existing AMD cluster with two Dell servers each of which has three AMD MI50 GPUs. Comes with a, an AMD software stack. It extends that existing cluster, so it's not necessary to create a whole new cluster from scratch. And where possible, we're looking to build on what exists at institutions that apply for support from the program. And this GPU testbed it's only been up and running for a few weeks, but it's already been used by researchers at a number of sites, including the University of Bristol and the Hartree Centre. So how do you get involved? Well, if you think that you might like to run one of these test beds, if you have an idea for a novel combination of hardware and software and some people to support it, 
We've got an open call right now which closes on the 19th of October 2020. You can find out more at the Excalibur Hardware and Enabling Software website ukri-excalibur.github.io We have a million pound budget which we think will probably be split between around four or five projects. So what does a case for support look like? We've broken this down into several sections and provided you with a template that you can use to help develop your proposal. We're looking for an overall summary in the proposal section that you'll see on the left. As you follow the document through, you'll see that we're asking for a justification of resources and costs. And you may well find that it suits you to present more than one option. And it's possible that we're not able to fund the testbed that you would like to create at the level of funding that you would prefer. If you give us more than one option, then we're best able to fit it into the budget envelope for the programme. We'd expect to see your project broken down into a series of work packages. Each of these work packages should be individually costed and we should be able to see who is going to be working on them. So who are the people from your institution or that you would bring in who would be helping to deliver that project. We'd expect to see milestones and outputs. What is it going to deliver and how do we know that we're making progress towards those deliverables. We also ask you to complete a risk register, listing the key risks that you envisage may occur in the course of the project and what you would do about them. We'd like to see a Gantt chart which illustrates graphically when you'd expect each work package to take place against the overall project timeline. So just to recap, Go to ukri-excalibur.github.io to find more about Excalibur, HNES, and the current open call. We have a frequently asked questions page, which will give you quite a lot of information about what we're expecting, what's in scope and what isn't. And take note of the timeline. 19th October, we're expecting to see your proposals. But do get in touch in the meantime if you would like formative feedback and we'll do our best to get back to you before the deadline. Thanks very much.